The price you charge for a monument always depends on how much the monument costs you. Prices vary depending on the color of the stone as well as the supplier you're buying it from. With our online monument designer, you can change your prices by granite color, apply a percentage increase, or apply override prices for individual products such as vases, benches, mausoleums, or columbariums. You may not always want the price to be on your display. The online monument designer gives you the ability to show or hide your monument prices with the price calculator. The price docker is the second icon from the bottom here. When the icon is not highlighted, it is hidden. When it is blue, it will appear on your screen. Just click to toggle this docker on and off. The price calculator gives you an estimate of what the pieces on your canvas will cost. The prices depend on a piece's size and color and will be recalculated whenever you add, remove, or resize things on the canvas. So now I'll drag a monument onto the canvas. As you can see, the price has changed. It will also change if I adjust the length or change the color. If a price does not appear and you see a red error message that reads cannot price incomplete design, this means that you need to fill out more information about the monument, like the thickness. This could also mean you need to fill in info about a base, slant, bevel, etc. Design Mart's price sheet is based off of a percentage over 72 book pricing, which is the industry standard. Ours works by calculating on a dollar per square foot basis. You may also create a price sheet specific to your company's costs. To do this, you'll want to go to your dashboard. Once there, click on the icon on the left with the letter P in the middle. This will take you to your list of price sheets. You may create multiple price sheets and you can even duplicate previous sheets to modify and create new ones. The star symbol here indicates which price sheet is currently being used to calculate your prices. To edit a price sheet, click the blue pencil icon here. At the top of the price sheet, you'll see the name. You can always rename this. To the left, there's a list of different color schemes. If you click on one, it will open up that color specific price sheet where you can determine what different pieces that are that color will cost. The next section deals with multipliers or percentage increases. When set to a value above one, which is markup, or below one and above zero, which would be a discount, these multipliers override their corresponding multiplier values within each and every color scheme. For example, if monument cost multiplier is set to a value above or below 1, that value will override all other instances of the monument cost multiplier found within each color scheme's price sheet. And if global cost multiplier is set to a value above or below 1, that value will override all multipliers throughout this entire price sheet. Below that section, you'll see flat rate cost. When set, these flat rates override their respective flat rates as well as specific prices set on any given asset or component if and when they have been set by DesignMart. For example, if you set the vase cost here, it will override any vase cost set for any color scheme. If you want to give specific prices for each color, you'll want to move over to the color tabs on the left side of the page. For each color, you are able to enter the trade name, the quarry location, and the manufacturer. From there, you can enter multipliers and flat rates for the individual color. The multiplier set here will override their respective multipliers set within any given color scheme on the left. For example, if you set the monument cost multiplier here, it will override the monument cost multiplier set for any color scheme. Global cost multiplier, if set here, will override any and all multipliers set both here as well as within the color scheme tabs of this price sheet. The flat rates set here override their respective flat rates and the flat rates set specifically on any given asset or component. For example, vase cost, if set here, will override any vase cost set for any color scheme. This may also be helpful with other unique items such as benches, mausoleums, and columbariums. The price per square foot of granite will vary depending on the thickness of the granite. For example, an 8-inch thick monument will have a higher price per square foot than a thinner 6-inch monument. If you move over to the Monuments tab for a specific color, 
you have the option of adding monument thickness, information text, and price per square foot. These entries determine the monument thicknesses that are selectable within the monument designer, as well as their price per square foot, representing their wholesale cost per square foot. These values are not visible within the designer and are used when calculating the retail price before displaying that calculated retail price through the designer when the pricing calculator is enabled. Upright monuments, slants, and bevels will have different prices per square foot based on their thickness. If you go to the Monument Slants tab, you can add a height, thickness, and price. These entries determine the slant monument's heights and respective thicknesses that are selectable within the monument designer, as well as their price per linear foot, representing their wholesale cost per square foot. Like monuments and markers, base prices per square foot will vary depending on the base's depth and height. On the Bases tab, you can add thickness and price per square foot. These entries determine the base thicknesses that are selectable within the monument designer as well as their price per square foot, representing their wholesale cost per square foot. These entries determine the base thicknesses that are selectable within the monument designer as well as their price per square foot, representing their wholesale cost per square foot. The Base Width tab is where you can add base width options. These entries determine the base widths that are selectable within the monument designer, where the color scheme or price sheet base cost per square foot and base cost multiplier are used to calculate the retail price of the base. To save your changes, click the green Save button in the bottom right corner. Remember, if you have any questions at all, feel free to call us at 800-736-7455 or email d-mart at designmart.com. We'll be happy to answer your questions and we can even get connected to you remotely and share the mouse. Thanks for watching.